We have been so blessed today with such a wonderful, amazing NFL franchise, guys. Welcome back in. 32 mock drafts, 32 days, Washington Commanders edition. And guys, first, let me say, love the new name. So sexy, so unbelievable. This is a team and this is a fan base that is fired up. They're pumped up. They're so happy. Now, taking a look at their current draft capital, it's pretty cut and dry. They only have their own picks. They've got their first rounder, second rounder, third, fourth. They traded their fifth away, but they do have their sixth and seventh. So, we're, you know, you're looking at a quarterback probably at that number 11th overall position. Let's take a look at their team needs real quickly. Of course, you need the quarterback, offensive line, a cornerback, also, wide receiver and then a linebacker as well. The Commanders are a team desperately in need of a franchise quarterback. They're searching for one. Guys, Commanders fans, I'm going to get you one today. Please, for the love of God, do not trade for Jimmy G. It's not going to work out. He's not good. Don't do that. Washington, Washington Commanders, seven round NFL mock draft. Arena. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The Washington Commanders. It is episode number 11. Let's go. This team needs a quarterback so desperately. They also need an offensive tackle, which I'm fine with getting. So let's go ahead and simulate through the first 10 picks. And there's my guy, N'Kobe Dean. Of course, he's going to be a top 10 pick. Why wouldn't he? Uh, just looking through this. Pretty, again, dude, the AI, they have to fix this. This is the second straight day in a row. The Giants taking two tackles in the top seven. What are we doing, folks? I will say Evan Neal falling to seven. Imagine getting a Quanu and Neal. They might, the, 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 they might be onto something with that. How about a Mod Gardner going in the top 10? Stingley Jr. is not going second overall. Didn't they just draft Jeff Okuda third overall two years ago, the Lions? All right, let's get into this, guys. We're getting them a quarterback. This is too easy. Terry McLaurin needs help. Please help him. Please help Curtis Samuel. They also need a receiver. Okay, so this team really needs three things. They have a good defense. They need a good receiver. They need a starting quarterback. And they need some nice depth on the offensive line with a few good offensive tackles. I'm fine with that. But, guys, we have to start. We have to get them a quarterback. And, oh, my God. I didn't even notice it. I was going to give them Matt Corral. See, now it's rough. Now it's rough. We may have to go with Malik Willis here. You know what? Have I picked Malik Willis yet? Do I, here's the thing, do I try and trade, no, you can't trade out, you have to just take your guy, take Malik Willis, draft Malik Willis, he's on my board, I wanted Matt Corral, but we'll take Malik Willis, it's still a fit with, with the uh, generals, I think Malik Willis is fine to start uh, week one, why, I'll tell you what, PFF, they say every team needs a linebacker, every one of these teams I do, it's like they need a linebacker, they need a linebacker. every team, Every team, no, we're getting them a receiver, and it's not Sky Moore. They need to stop ranking Sky Moore so high. That's ridiculous. Okay, so we will be picking David Bell here. Now, this is going to be a good mock draft. I'm telling you guys, let me tell you, I'm feeling good about this one. This isn't the perfect mock draft because they don't have enough picks for it. But David, let's see who some of the guys went. Ooh, three tackles went. Let's actually just look at the tackles. Maybe one of the tackles fell. Um... Yeah, no, I can wait. Wait, what is their next pick? 75. I want to get one of these guys at 75. I don't think either of them are going to fall. We can always try and get Tyler Smith or Max Mitchell. Okay, so there's a lot of options. So for me, David Bell always gets picked in the top 50 because the AI listens to what I say for some reason, but not today. They need another receiver. You're going to have Curtis Samuel playing the Debo Samuel role kind of in the backfield, kind of as a slot. You've got... Uh, you've got Terry McLaurin on one side. You've got David Bell on the other side. Maybe lacking a little bit of height there, but I don't care. David, well, you could actually go with George Pickens. You know what? It's tough with George Pickens, but I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it with George Pickens. I'm risking it. I never do. I'm going to risk it. I want to draft George Pickens one of these times. This dude, you know, George Pickens is one of those guys, no homo. I mean, that dude's got, uh, he's working with stuff, I'm sure. Take a look at his build, his girth. Again, I'm just saying, he's probably working with stuff. Uh, Brian Asimoa. Yeah, it says they need a linebacker, but I'm not concerned about... It says they need a safety, too. PFF is so effed up in the head. It, it's literally... The, I didn't even... I forgot to do this. I forgot to do that. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I forgot to full screen it. Um, but we're just going to go with it. They certainly don't need a defensive lineman. This is an important pick for them. I think you have to take Abraham Lewis. Like, guys, honestly, these offensive tackles... 
I'm starting to really come on to these guys. Like, they're really, uh, these are some good looking gentlemen. And I've been looking. Max Mitchell is, wait, when is their next pick? 113. It's almost like you want to give them two tackles. I do want Brian Asimoa, but we have to, like, it's like they don't need defense. This team needs offense. It's just like, just room. At some point, some of these teams just have to start. It's like you struggle at offense every year. Just draft a whole offensive team. Just draft, every pick should be offensive. We're going all offense. I'm sick of it. Abraham Lucas. Maybe people say Tyler Smith is better. Maybe we can trade back up at Max Mitchell went. No, it's fine. It's fine. We'll, we'll just let it go. I'm going to trade back up because I really don't care about one, uh, t you know, the last two picks. I'll trade back up here in a little bit. Do I draft? Nah, there's no point in drafting Sky Moore. Um, Tyler Smith. So I don't know what their tackle situation is. I know Brandon Sheriff is probably leaving. It seems like a good idea to get another high upside offensive tackle. I do like, okay, wait, I thought they needed a cornerback. See, what What do this? What does this team even need? I don't even freaking know, man. Okay, let's get them a linebacker then. We'll look at a linebacker. We'll look at, we'll look at safety first. Kirby Joseph, I've never drafted this kid. I'm, I'd say 90 grade and they in a random 84.4 grade against Charlotte. Guys, the thing is, if you don't know a logo, just ask me and I'll tell you because this is Charlotte. Like, I'll know every logo. If you want to go through this again, I did this one time. Let's try and find, see Miami, Ohio, oh, I'll know all these. This is too easy. Watch this. Watch this one. Go to the stats. Cincinnati, Minnesota, uh, Ac uh, Army, excuse me, Central Michigan, Eastern Michigan, Akron, Ball State, Ohio, Buffalo, Bowling Green, Kent State, folks. This is too easy. I want to keep going. Give me someone from a really obscure, this is Louisiana. Oh, I may actually get exposed on this. Texas, Nichols, Ohio, Georgia Southern, South Alabama, Appalachian State, Arkansas State, Texas State, Georgia State, Troy, Liberty, Appalachian State, Marshall, The Herd, folks. You, you, the thing is, you're not going to give me, give me someone from an Ivy League school. Ooh, Florida a and yeah, that's, that's not, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, but guys, let's get back. I'm sorry. I'm, what am I doing? Why am I doing this to this poor team? They're such a, ah, I love the commander's name. I do love it. Um, so let, you know, this is disrespectful. I'm not even paying attention to this team and it's so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. We're going to look for a nice little, uh, linebacker. We're going to see if there's any linebackers and we're going to draft one for this team. Cause they need a lot. Troy Anderson. This kid is some white slow dude. I don't want him. Micah McFadden is too small. Um, I don't want any of these guys. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. Um, so it's just like when you reach a certain point with the linebacker position, it's tough to really draft one. I will look. Maybe I'll just take Kirby Joseph. Yeah, we'll take Kirby. Yeah, I like that. We'll take the kid. You know what? I like diversifying my portfolio a little bit. And then maybe we trade back. Oh, Marcus Jones went. Uh, Tyler Smith also went. Okay. Then we'll just let it go. We'll make our last two picks. We want to keep our picks. Did Bailey Zappi go that low? Braxton Jones. That. Oh! <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, guys. Braxton Jones. I think he's a first-round player. I think he's a first-round player. Um, yeah, all these guys are horrible. You know what? Cole Turner is good. They don't need a tight end. I, wait, what is their tight end situation? Who is that one big lengthy guy that kind of looks Mexican, but he's really black? You guys know what you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm still taking Cole Turner. Like it's like this thing where I have this infatuation. Like I have a crush on Cole Turner or something. I always got to take him. It's I just have to take him. Isaiah Taylor Stewart. Harry Miller is not in the draft. Please get Harry Miller out of the draft. Good lord. Um, Zamir White. I thought no. I don't think Zamir White's a senior, right? He's not coming back. He came back. Yeah, no. I think he came back last year. Zamir. Do they? I want to see his game grades. That is UAB, guys. By the way, any logo I'll get. Who? Oh, my God. That's an FCS school. That's an FCS. Look at that. They faced Alabama back-to-back -back weeks. That's an FCS school. Who is that? Charleston Southern? I hope that's Charleston Southern. Otherwise, I'm going to be exposed. No, but guys, we can actually do it. I'll try and find an FCS school. I'll find it. No, we won't do that. I'm being disrespectful. Let's just let's end this draft. Let's talk about who is this individual. This is just some guy they made up. I don't remember this dude at all. Um, Charleston Rambo. That's a great name for a receiver. Great name. Great, great wide receiver name. 
You know what? This team, I do like me some Percy Butler, but I already got them that. We're just going to go with best player available. Do they need... You, you can never have too many centers. That's, that's what they you can never have too many centers. It's the seventh round. What are you really going to do? I would actually trade. Guys, I've thought about teams that should actually do this. Trade all of your seven round picks for the six rounders next year. And then the next year when you have the six round pick, trade that for the fifth rounders. And because you can always just keep trading up. Like it seems like teams will trade their seventh round pick for a six rounder in the next year. But just keep doing that and keep trading up. Imagine a team did that. So this, I actually, dude, I like this. Malik Willis and George Pickens and Abraham Lucas. So you go offensive heavy. Then you get them a decent safety. You get them a little tight end. And then you can never have too many centers. That's what they say. Maybe this kid can slide. Maybe he can be a guard. But the thing that you're going to see with this mock draft, it's Malik Willis. If you hit on Malik Willis, you hit on George Pickens, this would be a success. Um, honestly, even if all these picks were failures and Malik, Malik Willis turned out to be a franchise quarterback, it would be a success. Like, it just relies so much on which quarterback you take. Let's be real, folks. That is going to do it. The Washington Commanders, they actually didn't have that many picks, I'll be honest. But they did have, this is a team, the 11th overall pick, 43 overall pick, a 75th. Team that's very needy in several positions, but mainly quarterback maybe get another receiver or really cornerback as well. I've seen them need, you know, a DB, but also they need safety and then a really nice offensive tackle. Hopefully Abraham Lucas can be that for them. Also, you got, you know, the big body tight end. We love to see that. But guys, that is going to do it for this uh, 32 mock drafts in 32 days, commander style. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.